I've got a new tool and it's a great one. The Falcon 2 laser engraver of 22 watts is part of Creality's latest diode laser lineup. They've sent me one to test and review and I've put it to the test and as always am finding ways to monetize it from day one making items for the marketplace. Right out the box you're basically ready to use this. It's pre-assembled. You only need to add the raising legs, slide the laser module in and it's ready to get working. Have you noticed the lack of cables in the way? This is one of my favorite features of the Falcon 2 lineup. Before even getting into performance, the cable management on this thing is amazing and entirely out of the way. With absolutely no risks of cables or air tubes getting caught, the machine feels much safer to use and set up than some other options. The machine comes with this metal surface, which I will use to engrave things that I want to keep clean but if you want to cut, you're going to want a honeycomb base like this. I had this already here, so this is why it's all used up already. At 22 watts, this machine can use its full 25,000 mm per minute potential while engraving and can cut through 15 mm of wood as they claim, but even more as you'll see later in this video. The air assist is very precise and powerful, helping those deeper cuts happen in a single pass. Before owning this machine, I was running a 10 watt laser, and to get anything more than 3 to 4 millimeters cut without any burning, I needed more passes at higher speed for a longer cut time and less clean results. The Falcon 2 has a triple monitoring system checking for proper airflow, making sure the lens is clear and telling you when you wipe it, and last but not least, a fire detection system in case your settings are off and something catches on fire which hasn't happened to me ever. Right away I wanted to test that 15mm claim. I planed down an 18mm board to 15mm to test this out. After a few tries I ended up at 100% power and 95mm per minute. I had a perfect throughout cut. I never thought lasers could cut this deep and keep a sharp edge, but this one sure does. Now I want to show you a project that can make some good money more I think than the custom Mansa boxes. This map was cut from three layers in the Falcon 2. It's from my town and I made it easily using a service called Laser Map Maker. I'm not affiliated with this site in any way. I found it but I've been using it since. I've sold a map of a Montreal area for $80 as well as many others that I simply pre-made and put up on the marketplace of popular spots around Montreal. They take me about 30 to 45 minutes of laser time and 10 to 15 minutes to paint them with a paint roller and some acrylic. I was making those at 10 watts with two passes, but at 22 watts I'm cutting this at one pass and it's a very sharp edge. For repeated cuts such as those garden sticks, the Falcon 2 speeds shines. I can batch those out very quickly, package them and put them on the marketplace. I've sold planters in the past with young herb plants that I get from local farms for cheap and those signs would have let me charge a bunch more just by attracting more eyes. I sure plan to do this again this summer. The next category of things, often called blanks, are objects that I get mainly on Amazon that are meant to be lasered and sold customized. The examples I have here today are those leather patches and stainless steel signs. If you want to sell to businesses, you can get into coasters, USB drives, tumblers and many more things. Just write laser blanks on Amazon or any other marketplace and you'll find a ton of ideas and options. For the leather patches, to test this out, I started by making a little jig to make placing them and doing repeat engravings easier. I made two patches, one of a stepper motor which drives this machine, my CNC's or 3D printers. Those little motors pack a ton of power, torque and are tons of fun. So I'll make a hat out of it. The second patch is for my young daughter and will also go onto a hat. I went to the dollar store to get some hats and at three dollars and a half each I had two. I'm not selling those two, they're for my daughter and I, but you get the idea. Find inexpensive blanks and make more money. Selling it or not, I'm posting both of those on the marketplace and will make it clear that you can supply me the image and I do the engraving. Now for the stainless steel plaques, the Falcon 2 can do something pretty unexpected by most. 
it can engrave them in color. By engraving this chart, it gives you the exact speeds and power combinations to achieve colors. The color engraving in a controlled way like this feels like magic. It's sure to impress buyers and inspire them to give you custom orders. Here's two acrylic plates that I cut and engraved with my channel's logo. With the same settings, the black ones came out better with cleaner edges and engraving. I needed to add a few more watts of power or slow it down to get the same results on red versus black. I love how they look, they're super shiny and the engraving really pops out because of that. Next is something I found pretty cool, making handbags out of 3mm plywood. Those planks cost me about a dollar each and with one I can make in about an hour of laser and 5 minutes of actual work make one of those handbags. There's a ton of models for those bags available online for free or a small fee. Make sure they come with commercial rights, most do. Presentation is always important when selling and often small touches like adding a felt bottom or on surfaces can make an item sell for a lot more. The Falcon 2, as powerful as it is, can also be very delicate and cut stuff such as felt. With very low power, around 15%, I can get nice crisp cuts like those hearts or the snowflake. There's colors that you can't cut, like blue and often white as is the case now. That's why I made the snowflake green, just to test it out as I wasn't able to get anything at any power level to cut the white felt. The blue color of the laser is the reason this is happening without getting into too much details. It's now, as I release this video, mid-spring and almost summer. Birdhouses, more so unique and decorative ones such as this, are a good sell on the marketplace. Remember earlier when I said I'd be cutting thicker than 15mm for this video? Well this is it. This is all cut on the Falcon 2 laser and this wood is all between 16 and 18mm. This tree branch that the owl sits on was cut out of 3 quarter inch or 18 millimeter piece of 1x4 in a single pass. I've been using the Falcon 2 on the computer using the applications Laser, Gerbil and Lightburn. But if you have the G-code saved on a SD card, you can use this without even using a computer. It'll automatically load the latest file saved on the SD card and once you press play it gets going. I personally prefer using a computer, which has more feedback on the current actions like time lift or what's currently engraving. As you can see using this machine is a treat. The 22 watt power is plenty for most hobbyists and small professionals and the 400 by 415 millimeter surface is big enough to do all the projects I did today and as I said earlier, the cable management is just perfect. You can concentrate on what you're lasering and not the machine itself. 22 watts is enough to do up to 15 millimeters or more as you saw, so I think it's definitely worth to get that from a 10 watt option. I hope this video helped you on your choice of a laser engraver, or gave you ideas on what to make when you get one. Thanks to Creality for providing me with the Falcon 2, thanks to all subscribers, and see you next time with projects of all sorts.